Good dog and welcome to PA Dutch 101. This is video 26 in our series and this is a vocabulary building video and it'll be covering uh, vocabulary based around rooms of the house and furniture or things found within those rooms. In Dutch we say stube for rooms and hausrot for furniture. So let's jump right in. The first room in the house we're going to talk about is the kitchen or as we say in Dutch die kich. Die kich. Die kich. In the kich you'll find kitchen sink. Now we have specific words for a kitchen sink as opposed to different sinks, like a sink in a bathroom. So learn the words specifically for each room. So a kitchen sink, die Spielbank. Die Spielbank. Die Spielbank. There's two words for refrigerator. It depends on uh, which word somebody you might run into uses. I use the second one over the first one. That's what I was raised hearing. So it, again, it depends on who you're talking to or uh, whom you're talking with. So one possible uh, Dutch word for refrigerator is de keeler. De keeler. De keeler. And the second one, de icebox. De icebox. The ice box. Okay. The stove, also the word for oven. Der offer. Der offer. Der offer. Microwave, again, newer inventions, something that we wouldn't have had a word for in the 1800s. A lot of times we do use the English word. Here's an example. De microwave. De microwave. De microwave. Dishwasher. This is one where we uh, build a word out of to have a Dutch word for it. We took the word for dishes, gishar, and we made the word, well, we have the word machine, so a dish machine, s gishar machine, s gishar machine, s gishar machine. You might run into Dutch people that say dishwasher. That's fine. I want you to know that a lot of times with newer inventions or things that were not around prior to, let's say, World War II, you're going to find a lot of Dutch people that just use the English word. But I also want you to know that there are words out there that are used by some speakers to maintain the Dutch sound and the Dutch language. Okay. Next room. Bathroom or die Badstub. Die Badstub. Die Badstub. Okay. Toilet. Es Brivi. Es Brivi. Es Brivi. Bathtub? Der Badsober. Der Badsober. Der Badsober. Sink that you would find in a bathroom? Die Waschbank. Die Waschbank. Die Waschbank. Okay? Bedroom. Die Bettstub. Die Bettstub. Die Bettstub. Okay, well, big thing in the room. Es bet. Es bet. Es bet. Bedspread or cover, whatever you have on top of your bed. Blanket as well. Der Deppich. Der Deppich. Der Deppich. Alarm clock. Die Weckeruhr. Die Weckeruhr. Die Weckeruhr. Maybe you have a desk in your bedroom, or the, just so you have the word for desk, if you might have it in another room of the house. Der Schreibtisch. Der Schreibtisch. Der Schreibtisch. Okay? And if you have a closet or a wardrobe, der Schenk. Der Schenk. Der Schenk. And then finally, a lot of bedrooms will have a lamp or a light maybe next to the bed. Es Licht. Es Licht. Es Licht. And finally, the word for an actual wardrobe, chest of drawers. Die Gliederkammer. Die Gliederkammer. Die Gliederkammer. Alright. And living room, the other major room in the house. Die Wohnstub. Die Wohnstub. Die Wohnstub. Word for a chair, 
Der Stuhl. Der Stuhl. Der Stuhl. Sofa. Es Sofa. Es Sofa. Es Sofa. TV. Again, here's a word that some people just use the word TV. Uh, but there's also the word die Guckbox. Die Guckbox. Die Guckbox. Literally, box that you look at, which is what a TV is. Radio. Der Schwätzkaste. Der Schwätzkaste. Der Schwätzkaste. Literally, uh, talking talking box, talk little little crate, talking crate. <laughs> Bookshelf. Der Buchlade. Der Buchlade. Der Buchlade. And here's one that, uh, of course, they never would have had back in the day. So we took. DVD and said player, but we want to use the Dutch letters for the letters there. So, the DVD spieler, the DVD spieler, the DVD spieler. Okay. And I also thought there's probably some other words we should include in this video. So, a poor honor a house water, a couple other house words or words associated with the house. Well, the word for house, s house, s house. S house. The word for window, S fenster. S fenster. S fenster. Door, die dia. Die dia. Die dia. Roof, S dach. S dach. S dach. Chimney. Der Schanste, der Schanste, der Schanste. Garage, die Gratsch, die Gratsch, die Gratsch. Mailbox, die Postbox, die Postbox, die Postbox. And Attic, you, two possible words there, die Attic. The attic, the attic, or what my grandmother used to say, der garret, der garret, der garret. And the basement, the opposite end, der keller, der keller, der keller. Okay, now, was that every word for in a house or every piece of furniture? No. I chose the ones that I think were the, the, the most used or the ones that would be the most used. One way that you can practice this, and this is going to seem maybe weird at first, but it works. If you can get yourself a, a pad of post-it notes, you know, the kinds with the little sticky thing on the back. Each post-it note, write a word for a vocabulary word for something around the house. And then rip it off and go stick it on it. And yes, your house is going to look funny because you're going to have post notes hanging everywhere. But if you every day are walking around your house and you constantly see a post it note on the TV that says Gook Box, eventually, boom, it's going to stick. And then you can eventually take them off and your house isn't going to be full of post it notes. Maybe just do one room at a time. It'll also help if there's anyone else living with you, it'll get them seeing the Pennsylvania Dutch words as well. It sounds weird, it sounds corny, stupid, but it works. Trust me. Try it on. And also you can go around and if you have purchased a dictionary, look up words for things that we didn't cover, like cabinet, for example, in your kitchen. Find the word cabinet, write it on a post note, stick it to the cabinet. Okay? You'll be surprised how quickly you start learning these words if you do it. You just got to get over the idea of having a bunch of post-its hanging around your house but they're perfect for it. I really advise you to give that a try, okay? But that's it for today. So rooms of the house, furniture, things found within the house. And let me also make one other side note. If, depending on who you talk to, some Dutch speakers, and depending where they're from or their background, they might have other words for some of the words that I gave today. That's okay. Don't be afraid to learn more than one word for a piece of furniture. It adds to the, the breadth of the language and it also shows the regional variances. Okay? So, but 
if you're talking to a Dutchman that constantly is just using the English words, I would ask you to not necessarily stop and correct them, but instead of falling into that pattern, use the words that we covered today in the video so that there's more Dutch in your Dutch instead of a lot of English. Okay? But that's it for now, so bis die next video. Max gut und schwätz Deutsch.